Hey, welcome to this video. My name is Markus Montag and uh, I'm working in a family business now in the third generation together with all the best uh, souvenirs from Germany, specialized in beer steins and I'm very happy to show you in this video how an authentic German beer stein is made. Here you can see the clay quarries from the Westerwald Mountains where we are getting our clay already from from over 600 years and we still have around five German companies left which are making original German beer signs. This video here was made in cooperation with King who still stands for very high German quality beer stands. Here you can see a master of art at work. The complete production is handmade from scratch and this is then how the master mold emerges. From the master molds now, the first plaster molds are made. This is done to have a cast for making a regular beer stein later on. The mold is now getting separated by hand with a saw into three parts. Little metal plates are used to get the clay out of the cast. They will be used again later to spread the cast apart. At the bottom, the master mold is also marked that the workers know exactly where to strike the cast with the saw. As soon as the cast is cracked, it's able to be taken apart. This is how the form looks when it comes out. Here you see a master mold. Let us take a look at the cast. At the bottom you can see the limitation. Turning it upside down, the cast will slide out. and the three pieces from the molds can be taken apart. In the first method, the clay is getting turned into the form. The clay gets thrown into the form and then the iron comes in and presses the clay into the form. The overstanding clay is then removed by hand. Later on also a little water is added to make it nice and smooth again. Once the mold is finished it will have to dry overnight. Here you can see uh, the section in the factory where the clay gets poured in to the stein, which would be the second method of making. The clay is in a liquid condition and presses itself into the form. This also will be repeated up to two or three times because the clay will slide further down until you have the thickness of the wall from the stein which is wished.
The same method is also used to produce the handles. When the handles comes out of the cast, the seams have to be removed. This is all done by hand. Here you can see the upper rim from the stein, how it comes out of the form. A very high craftsmanship skill is needed to get the rim the way you want it with a small knife. The sponge comes in, which is uh, full of water to make the edges nice and smooth again. The scratch is now made into the stein to have a better attachment later on for the handle. And then the worker also cleans off the three seams from the mold on the new design stein. Now the handle is getting attached to the stein. Before it gets pressed into silk and then it's pressed on with a little pressure into the stein so that the silt can be filled in to the scratches we we made before. Then a little metal tool. Comes in and presses the hole where the lid later on will be attached to the sign. The clay then gets pressed into the form between the handle and the sign itself. This makes sure that the handle is attached very secure to the stun. Now the steins are getting collected on big boards from the steps what we saw before. The clay is still very wet, so the steins have to dry. This normally takes 10 days. To speed up this process, a drying room sometimes comes in, which then only takes about two days until you can work further on the stein. Now the background glazing begins. Here in this case we use a liquid glazing out of black color, which is all added on with a paintbrush to have a black background later on. As soon as the glazing will dry, it will turn into like a powder. And as you can see, this working step is also all done by hand again. Now in the next working step, blue glazing is used, which is a little bit thicker than the black one before. This is why this cannot be put on with a paintbrush. The thicker glazing is used to have a richer color later on when the stein is fired. Here you can see how the stein looks after the glazing has dried. The color then turns out like a powder. Now the glazing is removed from the working steps before. As you can see, the glazing now turned into a powder. Here the worker uses a special sponge to get the corners and edges from the stein nice and clear again, so it can be painted later on in a nice different color. In this model here, the background will be black later on. Now the steins will get fired for the first time. For 24 hours by 1250 degrees Celsius. Every single one will be put on by hand to the stove. Now we can start with the painting. Always one color at a time, and as you can see on the table, the standing a model to make sure the steins are painted the same way every single time. 
Every worker does a sign at least 5 to 10 times to reach the highest quality goals which are needed for a high German quality product. A much easier way to design a stein would be with a picture which is laid on. The picture gets put into the water until it comes apart from its background. Then it gets laid on to the stein. A special tool comes in to make sure there are no air bubbles underneath the picture. If any air bubbles would be underneath and the stein gets fired in the stove, the air bubbles will burst open and will damage the stein. The same process also is used to put on the limitations underneath of the stein. The limitation number then later on is written in by hand. Now the third method would be a combination of both. Hand paint a laid on picture. This is also very difficult to do and the stein is also painted similar as before, always one color at the time. Now the final process will start. We will fire the steins for the last time for 6 hours by 650 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, the worker puts in every single stein by hand into the stove. The positioning is also very important to save up space and to put in as many steins as possible. Finally, attaching the pewter lid. A little metal piece is bended around the handle, attached with clay, and then the hot pewter gets poured in to attach the handle secure to the pewter lid. Now we're going to make some finishing touches on the pewter lid. This machine is used to make sure that we have no hard corners and edges on the pewter stein. So they all are grinded off on the outside and even on the inside of the stein. Finally, the stein will get covered with a plastic sheet to protect the pewter lid and the brand name is put onto your stein which showed you that you have a real authentic German piece of art. Cheers everybody! I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your cool drinks out of authentic German beer stein. If you have any more questions don't hesitate to ask us. There are plenty of ways to get in touch with us, just write us directly or just search for us on Facebook. I'm looking forward to maybe see you in our store or at the website or maybe we hear each other over email. Take care.